Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, if you guys are new around here make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button, we are trying to get 1300 subscribers by the end of the month, there's not long left, we're 30 subscribers away, smash that subscribe button, I know we can do this. But in today's video I'm going to be covering my Call of Duty 2020 wish list. As we know May is always an exciting time of the year for Call of Duty fans this time of year as we get the first leaked footage and like name of the new Call of Duty or some kind of information that is 100% confirmed. We're yet to get that. There's been leaks. It's going to be called Black Ops Cold War I think or Black Ops Vietnam. I could be wrong on both of those but I'm sure it's something along them lines. And that has been leaked as well, obviously, it is around like a Cold War type theme, like back in the day, World War II vibes. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. But in all honesty, I am always a bigger fan of the Modern Warfare type cards, or the futuristic ones, if you will. Not so much jetpacking, but how Black Ops 4 was. But I'm sure it'll be a great game nonetheless. Speaking of World War II cards as well, quickly, May 26, World War II, the Call of Duty game World War II, is free for PlayStation Plus members, so if you don't have it or you don't have the game anymore, or you just have never played it or you fancy playing it, I don't even know, you can download it for free if you're a PlayStation Plus member, which majority of users are, I presume near enough all of them are, um, I'm very, very surprised if you're not. I never played World War II, so I'm going to download it, I might even do a video on it, I've never actually played it, so I'm going to download it just to give it a whirl, I've, I've never ever played it. But anyway, finally, on my phone right here, we have the wish list I've made, literally just made it right now. I took a long think of it and I've been thinking about these things anyway throughout the year of Modern Warfare anyway, like why haven't they put this in, I hope it's in the next one. But my first one, and I'm sure I speak for a lot of us here, is going to be prestiging. Oh my god, how I have missed prestiging in this game. I don't know what Infinity Ward was thinking not adding prestiging into this game. I don't know if it's to do with the officer rank challenges or what. It was a, a stupid decision on their part, in my opinion. I think getting to 155 and then resetting every 60 days or whatever it is, is just stupidity. Uh, I miss the days of, you know, grinding for prestiges and trying to be the highest prestige out of all my friends and just be the highest in the lobby. You know, if I go into a lobby and I see the highest prestige, I'm thinking, yeah, nice, I'm the highest prestige in this lobby. You know, it, it, it's just a good thing. I think it gives something a lot more to grind for. And um, in terms of prestige as well, a level 1000 after the first 10 prestiges is how I think it should be. You know, 10 prestiges, then level 1000. Such a long grind, such a great grind and fun grind, to be honest. Uh, so I definitely think that's got to be in this next game, otherwise I'm going to be heavily, heavily disappointed. To be honest, I don't know why they wouldn't, so let's just hope that's in the next game. Moving on to the next thing, big one again, mastery camos and titles. The reason I'm saying titles is because apparently there's been a leak for Modern Warfare, which I did my last video on, no, la not last video, video before, so make sure you do check that one out. There's mastery camos and emblems coming to this game, depending on which weapon you're using and stuff like that. I think they should be a must from the very start, these are from the very start of the game, bearing in mind, like on launch day, I want these features in the game. Might not be, if they come later on, they come later on, but hopefully they're on launch day. Mastery camos, I think Damascus was really good and I think they should do the grind similar to Damascus where it's really really long and takes ages to do, um, but I think the camo should definitely be animated, I think it should be like Dark Matter from Black Ops 3, I think that was the best Dark Matter in my opinion. Dark Matter on Black Ops 4 was pretty sick as well, how it was reactive and changed as you got kills, so I think if they could implement them both like that. Again, in terms of reactive camos as well, reactive camos were so good in Black Ops 4, oh my god. I love reactive camos, there were so many good ones you could get. Uh, so hopefully reactive camos, mastery camos, and mastery camos and titles. So there's so many things to grind for right off the get go. I think that would be super, super fun. And then maybe add more as the you know, the year goes on, we'll see. But I think that's a definite must as well. And this one, this next one is a super big one for me personally. And maybe some of you guys, maybe not. I've been waiting for this ever since Black Ops 2. So that's how long it's been. League play from launch. No, mate, let's say not launch, let's say the start of the CDL season, okay? So it's a little after, like a month or so after launch. I'll give them that. We've not had any sort of league play in this game. But it's the CDL playlist, which is just CDL rules. It's awful. Black Ops 4, they did it pretty decent, but it was way, way, it took ages for them to add it into the game. I was waiting for that for so long, and it wasn't the best. Black Ops 2 nailed it. It was the best league play or competitive rank play there's ever been in any single Call of Duty, hands down. If you disagree, you're kidding yourself. Because, I don't even know, it was just so much fun. You could rank up, you know, I think there was bronze, silver, gold, platinum. Diamond and the Master I think it went, I can't remember exactly, 
But yeah, it was so much fun. I just love grinding that every day after school. We'd hop on and everyone like, let's play league play. We need to get to the highest rank. Highest I got was platinum, so not that great. Well, it was decent, but not amazing. Another feature I want to see added into Call of Duty 2020 is going to be the gunsmith. We've seen the gunsmith properly like fit well. I mean, there was weapon customizations where you could make custom camos and stuff like that. I think it was in Black Ops 4, I think. I could be wrong. I think there was you could make custom camos in Black Ops 4 or put your emblem on a weapon or something like along them lines. But the way they've done it this year, this way, the way they've done it this year, where you can make different kind of weapon variants, like turning the AK-47 into the AK-74U, AK-47 into the RPK, the MP5 into the MP5K. This list goes on and on and on. You know, you guys know already. Anyway, there's so many different ways you can make different weapons and older weapons and make your gun look completely different. Like even the the gunsmith update they've added now, the gunsmith that's in the game now is so so good, especially in regards to the update they did on it uh, live a month last month, I think it was, where you can add different weapon variants and like combine them both. So you might have the breakup weapon variant for all the M4A1, and you might have another one for the M4A1. For instance, you can combine them too, so you can have pink parts of the gun. You can have a Damascus part of the gun if you've got that camo or whatever camo you want to use. You know, mix it up like that. It was a super good feature. I think it's um, definitely not talked about enough. I don't think. In terms, obviously, I know I do a lot of the best class of videos, but in terms of how the Gunsmith actually works. I don't think it's talked about enough. It's actually super, super good, and the weapon customization option options in this game are just next level. There's so many attachments for so many different guns. I think they really did hit the nail on the head in terms of the weapon customization in this game, 100%. So I'd love to see something similar to that in the, the next Call of Duty, which would be great. It also makes for a lot more content and stuff like that you can make and really be experimental with your playstyles and literally gives you endless options if something's not working you can swap it out for five other options which might work you know it really does help the player out helps a youtuber out helps everybody out because i can provide different content for different weapon customizations and i'm not just saying i want this feature in because of that obviously it's for everyone i'm trying to speak on behalf of everyone here obviously it helps everyone out but anyway i think i rambled about the gunsmith way too much then but I would also like to see a massive array of weapons. Obviously in Modern Warfare we've got a lot of weapons, but what we seem to find in the World War II style Call of Duty is World at War for instance. Um, I'm going to say World War II as well as I know there wasn't the best of weapons in that game. I know I said at the start of the video I've not played it, but I'm going to play it. But from what I've heard, what I've seen, I know there hasn't been. Because even though I didn't play that year, I played Black Ops 3 for another year. This was before I started YouTube. I don't know why I just played Black Ops 3 for another year. My friends used to talk about it all the time. And obviously, I still followed it. I still watched YouTube and all the news and stuff like that. So I know there wasn't that many weapons. So I'd love to see an array of different weapons that we haven't seen before from the older days. I know there might not be that many. And I know a lot of them are dull and boring. So that's why I'm asking for an array of weapons. So we have the option to go dull and boring. Or we have different guns. Like I'd love to see guns like the Thompson from World at War or the MP40 them type of guns I would love to see as well they would be absolutely insane probably there's a load more other World, World of War guns that I can't think of right now that are absolutely super sick like the PTRS sniper if that got, that needs to be added back in personally add that back in please oh, oh my god but as well onto another subject as well in regards to array of things DLC, I think the way DLC has happened in Modern Warfare as well has been insane. I, I love how they've done the Battle Pass type thing, similar to how it was in Black Ops 4. That should be back in the game, which I presume it will be. That was that is so much fun, obviously. It adds another grind to the game per season. Doing seasons is definitely a fun, fun uh, aspect to the game. And how the DLC is actually free, if you will. I know you can buy DLC and you can buy the tiers, but in terms of like hard hat multiplayer maps, you've got the tier system, it's all free. I think it's free, no. You have to buy the battle pass. You have to actually buy the battle pass in this game, don't you? You have to actually buy the battle pass, I forgot about that. Hopefully it's free. I wanted the battle pass to be free, it was free in Black Ops 4, it should be free in this game, 100%. So hopefully next time round it's going to be free and the DLC is free again, obviously there's no season pass or anything like that. And I would love to have done map packs in this game, but they haven't. Uh, they just added maps here and there, which has been good, which is pretty sick, but I would love map packs to return, you know, you get the four maps off the bat. Another thing as well is... I would love to see remastered maps. There's so many maps they can bring back from back in the day and so many fun ones and we've seen it done before time and time again. There's loads in Modern Warfare, there was loads in Black Ops 4. I'd love to bring them back, like bring back the ones from like Firing Range, Nuketown again. I know Nuketown will be back in some way or another, it's got to be, it's a Black Ops series game. But like other ones like, I don't even know, something crazy like 
hijack but re do reskin it so it's World War Two themed or uh, Raid. Raid is my favourite map of all time. So Raid, please add that back in. I've really been dying for that. I was really hoping they would do it in Black Ops 4, but it never happened. Raid from Black Ops 2, please add it back. It's the best map of all time. And finally, guys, before I bore you guys to death, probably the biggest one for a lot of people, I think personally. This game needs a battle royale mode, 100%. The amount of players and the fan base, like the player base, has just gone humongous ever since Warzone was added into the game. And I think the reason uh, Blackout from Black Ops 4 didn't was because there was no crossplay feature. It's got to have crossplay, make everybody be able to play with everybody. And honestly, it will. I think Call of Duty is going massive again because of Warzone. Warzone's all you see talked about on Twitter personally. For me anyway, I don't know if it's because I just follow Call of Duty, but I'm a recommended. I hardly see any Fortnite these days. So I 100% think Battle Royale mode, one way or another, added back into the game. Honestly, it's going to be so good for the Call of Duty series. I just, that needs to be in the game, man. Okay, guys, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would change anything about the list, or if you agree with the list, or you disagree with the list, or want to add something to the list, you know, whatever you want to do, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys want to see in the next Call of Duty. As I always say, thank you guys for the continued support on the channel. It's been amazing recently. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. It does mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.